Okay, one has it going. Uh, I'm gonna do a card trick here called Spell It Out. This is gonna be a tutorial uh, performance first. Now I'll do a tutorial. Um, this is a trick that I believe was shown on Miss Meg's channel, but I learned it from my friend uh, Hockey Man for Life Seven. So yeah. So here it goes. Uh, so basically, I'm gonna get you to pick a card here, any card. Okay, so we'll go with this one right here, just random. Very, I'll look away. I see you got that. Okay. So. Okay, so now I'm just gonna separate the deck into piles, just like this. Okay, so now I'll put your card on any one of the piles here. Okay, so I'll just go with that one. Okay, so now I'll just put these on top of there. Then I'll put this on top and this on top of that. So now it's completely buried. So now I'm just gonna lay out the cards just like this. Just randomly. takes a few extras from this pile as well okay so now that they're all laid out I'll just put square them up all right put them in any random position just like this okay so now they're in a random position in the pack okay so now I'm gonna ask you to tell me your code Okay, so, alright, I think I got it, so I'm going to guess it, okay, just because you're not here, obviously, so, so I'm just going to go F, I, V, E, O, F, H, E, A, R, T, S, we got the five of hearts there as well, so, so the five of hearts is your card. So now, for the tutorial on that trick you so starting position is all you have to remember is the bottom card on the deck so you can get the spectator to shuffle it as much as we want okay so in this case the ten of clubs okay so now they can pick any card whatsoever you don't know it at this point so in this case we'll pick this card okay and that card is the six of hearts okay so, um, so then what you do is you just separate it into piles. Okay, so four different piles. They can put it on any one. If they happen to put it on the pile with the bottom card that you remember, that's fine. Just uh, take a glance at one of the other piles when you put it on top. Just maybe when you're doing it, just get a thumb just like that so you can glance at it. So. Now we gotta now we gotta remember the three of clubs, okay? But if it was on any other pile then you can just put it ten of clubs and you remember that, so so then you can just put it all together, it doesn't matter. And then you're just gonna say you're gonna lay these cards randomly out, okay? So so you're gonna start off like this. See my mistake when I first learned the trick was I thought you were supposed to do it face down and you're supposed to go like this. But that's much harder because you have to look behind the card before you're doing it. Uh, like because, for example, if your card was the that you had to remember was the three of clubs, it's always going to be behind their card. So make sure you do it with the backs on top, okay? And then flip it. So you're just going to lay them out just randomly. Alright. Yeah, in any random order. Okay, so I see the three of clubs there, okay? So now we've got our... That, that was the card we needed to remember, right? So now I know immediately that the next card will be their card. And you want to do this kind of subtly so that they don't catch on that you already know that it's their card. 
So you just want to keep going normally. Okay, so I know their cards are six parts. So you keep randomly going like that. Okay, so then your next pile, you're going to put S I X O F H E A R T S. Okay, so now you know, but but you're you're obviously going to do this inside your head so that they don't know. So you're just going to count that out inside your head. Alright, and then you can keep going, just whatever. Alright, and then we'll just put that down because that doesn't matter. So we know the six of hearts is under here. Okay, so this pile has to go on top of that. So then we can just go like that subtly and just like like making it natural as possible. And then you're going to ask them what their card was, okay? So it's it's best to do it, like ask them their card. And then when you lay them out, you're going to want to go S, I, X. And then for each uh, word, you're going to put the next word underneath. It looks better. It makes them, it, it just makes everything look more professional. So S, I, X, O, F, and then hearts, H, E, A, R, T, S, okay. And then there's a six of hearts. Honestly, this is the best, one of the best, like, easiest card tricks I know. I would recommend this to anybody to learn this trick. It's, it'll blow everybody's mind. Like, nobody will figure it out. You have to be pretty much told how to do it to figure it out. It is, it, it is a really good trick. I really enjoy uh, showing it to people. Because, like, everybody's utterly amazed. So. so, yeah. So, that's my card tricks. Well, not mine, but that's a good card trick called Spell It Out, and uh, practice and perform it. Yeah, thanks guys. Subscribe, please. Bye.